When you're grilling outdoors, there's definitely a lot of classics that come to mind. One in particular for me is barbecue ribs. In this case, I'm going to be using short ribs and glazing them with a Korean style barbecue glaze, serving along the side with a quick kimchi made with Brussels sprouts and some grilled bok choy. I'm going to do all of this on my propane grill, so let's get it started. So today what I've done is I've pre-lit the grill uh, just to one side because when I cook the short ribs, I'm actually going to place them on the side that's cool because I'm going to use an offset cooking method. What I've done also is I've pre-salted all of the short ribs and let them sit overnight. It helps to season the meat all the way through and just get them ready to grill. So in order to make the packages, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down parchment paper first. And then on the parchment paper, I'm going to place some scallion tops. What I'm going to do is take the pre-salted short ribs and just kind of lay them on top of the scallions. And place some thyme sprigs. And then the secret to this method is I'm actually going to place some ice cubes on top of it. You might think that's a little weird, but what that's going to do is, is actually that ice is going to start to melt and it's going to help braise the short ribs and get them nice and tender. I like to throw a few garlic cloves in there too. Then we're going to place it into the foil. You don't need to wrap it super tight because you want the heat to kind of expand it so it's braising around the outside of the rib. Okay, so the grill's preheated. It's about 400 degrees right now. So I'm going to place the foil packets right on to the left side of the grill, because I have the right side hot. It's gonna work almost like an oven, and it's going to cook the short ribs and let them braise for about an hour and a half to two hours. So I've turned my grill down to medium, so it's gonna stay about 300, 350 degrees. What's really important is be present, stay close, and never leave your grill unattended. Next step is I'm gonna start working on my kimchi. To make the kimchi, it's really simple. I've already started slicing my Brussels sprouts using a mandolin. And the idea behind this kimchi is you want it to be quick. Cutting the vegetables really thin is gonna help speed up the process. So next I have some daikon radish. I like daikon radish because it's really peppery and I think it adds another element to the kimchi. If you're not comfortable using one of these mandolins at home, you could cut all of this by hand using a chef's knife. So the next step after everything is sliced is just to salt it. And then what I like to do is work in the salt so you can actually feel the moisture coming out of the Brussels sprouts and that's when you know that the salt's doing its job. Now I've already put together my marinade for the kimchi. So what I'm gonna do is just pour this all over the Brussels sprouts and the radish and then mix it just using a spoon. And then what I do is I loosely cover this with plastic wrap and just let it sit on a kitchen countertop for a few days to let it ferment. So next I'm gonna make the Korean barbecue sauce. It just uses a lot of simple ingredients you can find around the household. Sesame oil, brown sugar, red chili garlic paste, red chili flake and black pepper. And I also have mirin and rice wine vinegar. Just a few dashes of fish sauce. While it's warming up, I'm gonna start grating in some ginger and garlic. I'm gonna let it cook for six to seven minutes and then lastly, I'm gonna thicken it just using a slurry of cornstarch and water. And you want to just coat the back of a spoon. You can see it's starting to get nice and thick. And it's gonna become a really great glaze for the short ribs. So once the barbecue sauce is done, what I like to do is just pour it into jars and you can store it in your refrigerator for weeks on end. It's really versatile in the kitchen. You can use it for many different things, especially when you're grilling outdoors. So ribs have been cooking for about two hours now. So they should be nice and braised and tender. So I'm gonna go check them out on the grill. Wow, this already smells amazing. I'm gonna transfer them over to the board here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is exciting. Exactly what I was looking for. Nice and tender, really aromatic. So at this point, I'm gonna start glazing with the barbecue sauce before I go back onto the grill. I just like to use a brush and just generously add it all around the outside of the meat. So now I'm gonna place these right back onto the grill. All right, so I flipped the ribs, just getting another glaze on them. I'm trying some lemons for the bok choy. So under the short ribs, I'm just gonna grill some of these bok choy chops. This is a really simple preparation. Generous amount of oil, some salt, and I got the grill up to the highest heat on this one area right here, because I want to char the outside of the bok choy. So bok choy is nice and charred, so I'm gonna start taking that off the grill. Short ribs, bok choy, yeah. Hmm? You look good. Yeah. yeah. Korean barbecue. Oh, and I'm on camera. <laughs> Bye, I gotta go. So even though my brother's out on the West Coast, we've been using this time to share recipes back and forth. And to check those out, go to propane.com forward slash families.